Hey guys, how are you doing? I'm Top Table Steve. I'm Top Table Ben. I'm Johnny, I'm a 40k rules and model and tournament organiser. And a living legend. Uh, we are here tonight, this is our second 40k live stream. It is. Uh, very exciting. Very nerve wracking. Very nerve wracking. Very nerve wracking. Um, so, thank you for joining us. Um, we have a few things to talk about tonight. Uh, do you want to go over what we're talking about? Yes, yeah, so um, I'm sure anybody that follows 40k will know that the sisters went up for pre order this weekend. Um, and we've seen kind of a, quite a few new bits that have come out from them. Uh, we're going to have a little chat about Faith and Fury um, again, which is, has been kind of revealed recently. Uh, we're going to have a bit of a chat about Blood Angels. Um, and yeah, we're going to be chatting to you guys at home as well. So get involved in the chat to make sure that you're. Uh, you're Getting involved and let us know what you think about things that we're discussing. Cool, brilliant. Um, I think before we jump onto our topics, um, we'll do what we usually do on these streams and we'll have a little chat about what we've been doing. So, Ben, 40k yeah. wise, I know what about all of you other middle of the world. 40k wise, have you been Yeah, I, I painted a plate surgeon for my um, death guard. Um, I finished off a conversion of a. Um, what do you call it? Uh, demon Prince of Nervous. Uh, so I used normal Demon Prince, but I put like, the bells and stuff off mm -hmm. the, some of the um, Death Guard stuff on too, so he looked quite cool. Uh, so I hope we get him painted up over the next week or so. Um, and I started painting some um, Iron Warriors. Very um, cool. So yeah, they're nice. Well, I'm another faction? Yeah, another faction. Another faction. Nice I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much now done with my Death Guard. Uh, I right. think I've got Typhus left to paint. Um, and that's about it. That'll yeah. be, I'll be kind of caught up with everything from Death Guard. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of looking through another Chaos faction. So yeah. with the Death Guard that you've got, I think we're probably looking at, we've, we've still got that campaign yeah. hanging on our shoulders. We've never got a yeah. chance to finish because Warcry was released and we jumped on that and then we lost the main studio camera, which we now have back. Uh, so we do look forward to that. Um, but I think, yeah, that, once we've done that, we'll move on to some different factions. Yeah. Stuff on the channel. So yeah, I think um, Iron Warriors and then I'm kind of eyeing up Tau, I think I mentioned that last time, um, so yeah. Uh, start set's good. Yeah, uh, so there's the start collecting, uh, so I think we can pick up the start collecting box and the new Christmas box nice. is coming out as well. Very cool. Um, and then just add a few extra bits to that, so yeah, that's, that's kind of what I've got in mind at the moment. Awesome. And uh, what about you, Johnny? Have you had any 4 gear hobby? Yeah, so after our last chat with um, our Space Marines, it got me really, really invigorated for them. So. Yeah. I decided that I was going to count off my tabletop standard as the Sun's Army and go down back into quality paint jobs with nice. Space Marines. So we focus on Blood Angels. Um, that's a promise, you will see them. Yeah. Um, I've been going down the path of Blood Angels, using all, all different types of techniques to the kind of spice of what I was doing anyway. John is a decent painter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm I'm painter. Are, I was I was like 3,000 Suns, I must admit. Yeah, I mean, they, they never saw any detail where that was the issue. Yeah. Yeah. No, Motivation, so I immediately jumped into your Vanguard Space Marines, which are your, your infiltrators and your suppressors and yeah, stuff, like the new stuff, yeah, yeah. Um, full 2000 points, Blood Angels, and Army of Them coming up. Nice. No, main, no named characters. Oh, no named characters. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Um, I'm not even yet. I've got no qualm with going to 4K and doing it 2K with named characters, and I'll be able to jive, but I quite like the idea of an unnamed. Kind of generic vanguard army. Yeah, nice. Really like yeah. Nice. It's a nice base to just add things into as well. Well, yeah. it's all ball. I have no, uh, I have no reason to not do it now. Fair, <laughs> fair. Yeah. I have done zero for K Hobbit. Uh, terrible. Of late. Yes, it's terrible. I've been very, very busy though. Worse. Shocking. Like, yeah, I know you're breaking back busy, man. Um, but to be fair, I have got my man cave at home in some kind of order, and I have a lot of my for K stuff now shelved. Um, and I have a shelf of grey 40k stuff. What's what's what that we've got grey? Just loads more basic troops, so loads yeah. more reavers, loads more intercessors. intercessors. Um, I've got all the stuff from um, the Conquest magazines, yeah. eight, plus a lot more. I've got the, uh, what's the mass battle? Apocalypse? Apocalypse, yeah. I've got the Space Marine Apocalypse box. Just, 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 just a lot. Yeah, just a lot. Yeah, the battalion. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's, it's because I'm doing three factions as we speak. So I'm doing uh, Ultramarines, Raptors, and Space Wolves. So I need them. Raptors are successors of Ravengard. Um, we or believe they're Ravengard uh, successors. Or? I'm not too sure. I've never really read into who their successors are. But I'm not a lot about the Raptors. They're just, they just walk. They look up because it's like that kind of. 
camo y it's like US Marine Corps yeah, 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 yeah. it yeah. just looks really cool that's what, what, why I started painting them like, yeah, I'm really yeah. Happy. I'll be a painting guy for that one too oh, awesome I'm really happy with how my uh, raps have turned out yeah. um, so that's pretty much us caught up on Hobby should we have a see who's in the yeah, chat let's do it let's, uh, do it. let's have a look uh, we have Glyn in. He was first in as well. He was first in. He did. First in, last down, Glyn. Uh, Jock's in. Hello, Pete. Uh, duh, duh, duh. Baller's in. Mr. Brush Baller. I'm surprised you came back after us riffing you last time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Shows how much of a good sport he is. Um, successes of Raven Guard. Is that, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Frederick Schultz is in. How are you doing, Frederick? We'll just just go back to, to Brush Ball. Have yes. Have you seen some of the uh, 40k stuff he's been painting? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's done a uh, painting guy. Yes. He did for uh, the Rebels. Rebels. Kill team. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. check that out. If uh, Nick I'm, can find a link yeah. to uh, Brush Baller's YouTube channel, sure he'll post it for you. But no, it looks good. Yeah. Look, yeah. Um, I need a, a Tau Kill Team as well. I didn't see the Tau. He did that for, I think that was for, for Tom Glover. Was it? Yeah. Sure. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, they were looking good, aren't they? Like in that kind of the, the standard kind of oak crew. Is that what it was? Like the yeah. orange ground, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So looking really, really good. Awesome, really good, good stuff. So yeah, Frederick's in. Thanks for joining us, Frederick. Hey, Frederick. Uh, Malkavian's in. How you doing, pal? Uh, Paul McElroy's in. Good to have you, Paul. And Ruth's in. Hi, Ruth. Hi, Ruth. Are you the usual. Yeah. No, yeah. yeah, which one? <laughs> <laughs> How's Munch getting on with his uh, all the tanks and stuff that he's got as well? He, he, sure he, he must be busy painting them because he's not been in the last he's, few streets. He's not. Uh, has he fallen out with us? Mm. Hopefully. Oh, I think we've fallen out with us. Especially we've got Johnny in them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. All right. Exactly. Um, but yeah, let, let, I, I want to I see this tank collection he's got yeah. from 40k. Yeah, definitely. Uh, we've got uh, Colin. How do you Colin? Colin, dude. Uh, we've got Athol McNichol. Even From Aberdeen, how are you doing? Thank you for joining us, man. I don't think Athol's been in before. No, is this your first time in, pal? If it is, uh, let us know. Obviously, you play 40k, I'm assuming. Let us know what else you play and if you remember of any clubs. Um, and if you're not in the Facebook group, get on it. We'll post the link up shortly. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Stephen Devlin's in. How are you doing, Steve? Evening. Uh, Middle Earth player, think of sticking my toe in the 40k water. What's a good star strike, mate? I like the look of Necrons. Mm. Would, what, would you, what would you say to someone who's never looked at 40k before? Would you, would, would you say what I'd say? I would say so, going with Space Marines. I'd say going with Space Marines as well, but I also think there's a lot of good options out there now for mm. other, um, other factions to see good starter armies. But on the flip side, I also don't think there is a good starter army. Right. I think it's all about dipping your toe into the models that you find nice to look at. Learning the rules for those. Attractive. Yeah, yeah. Becoming good at what you've got and then branching out your skills based on what you're good with. Um, so for Necrons, if you like the idea of flyers, go down the flyer route. If you like the idea of mass infantry, warriors and immortals if you do. Where's um, where's uh, where's where's Jay and Nick's twenty four hour live stream? stream. <laughs> <laughs> Nick's hiding his face behind the camera now. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, 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 I think uh, I think I think Johnny's right. Go with what you like the look of. Yeah, that's the best thing. Oh, I think if, if you enjoy if you enjoy looking at it, and it's I mean, especially you painting it, look yeah. at it. Ultimately, you know, a two thousand point army isn't. It's quite a big undertaking, really, for anything. You've got to enjoy painting it. Um, you know, the Death Guard has taken. When did we start doing that about? April, May time. I, I had a mad two weeks. Though, yeah, yeah, you painted just I everything. You mad at that out, point. Yeah. Um, I've just kind of been fairly consistent with mine, yeah. and, and I'm at the point now. I'm not. I'm not a fast painter. Uh, I don't get a huge amount of time that I'd like to paint. So obviously, we end up doing this work. Uh, we're painting now, I guess. Um, so you know, it's kind of taken me to now to get to about two thousand points worth of Death Guard. But uh, but yeah, it's looking looking good. Obviously, if you're a quicker painter, or you know, you're not. It's things like Necrons, you know. Really, you could let out for them and a normal option. I, I think the short, the short, the short one is something that's often thrown around is the idea of an Akron army where you just let out your normal and then no more at all. Just pick them up, pick out a few luminous green and yellow bits, and you yeah. Dry brush is usually recommended, but um, Necron compound. Yeah, Necron compound. After uh, after a while, most Necron players will start to say more to those models than that technique. Yeah, I mean, you've yeah, yeah. got a town on most models, can't you? But. Go with what you like and give, do you know what, I would say give it a go because I was pretty much like you were for a lot, for years, mm. like for years I've been thinking, oh 40k should or shouldn't I, 
Um, and I let a lot of the horror stories scare me off about it being like really beardy and events are a nightmare for new players, blah de blah de blah. And I listened to it and it was the biggest mistake I made. I started to play it, me and you started to play it. Yeah, yeah. Then I got to speak to Johnny and started to play more. I pop, I've, only, I've only been two Thursday nights. You've been down twice, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, just due, yeah. just to the fact that you know, I'm so busy with the channel and stuff. But the lads that I met there, and I, I always, I always walk around when I was in the 40k event on in the hall, because we're next door tournament games, and I have a chat, and everyone's great, to be honest. Yeah. You're always going to get them horror stories within certain communities about I things. I thought it was something I didn't run, bro. I've, I've, no, I've, I've, I've not. Again, I think, I don't know whether because we've been in like the middle of the community, which is quite a small community, everybody kind of knows each other, whereas mm -hmm. obviously the 40k community is much, much bigger. Mm -hmm. You know, some Facebook groups have got 35, 40,000 people in them. Yeah. You know, you're never going to get those people that kind of stand out. And, you know, occasionally you do get, you are going to get a, an absolute idiot in there that is negative or, um, you know, is argumentative and things, but... Yeah, me. <laughs> um, but you know, I've been four groups. But um, but you know, it's 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 kind of rare. I don't I don't tend to see it that much. I think no. there is. I think you probably are going to get a few more disputes and stuff. But again, you've got more people. And, and like I, th I think I think it totally depends audience. on how you deal with it as well. Yeah. So to have an argument with someone, it takes two people to have an argument. Absolutely. If yeah. you don't want to have an argument, you don't have one. Um, it's not an argument. That's just someone being a douche. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, but um, I've not come across it thus far, um, and I, I don't think I will in this community that we've got. We, we might just be us. We might just be dead lucky because I'm, I'm assuming our, yeah. some of you guys probably have got like stories that you know you, you've had unfortunate uh, circumstances. Run in, in our tight knit community, it's very difficult to come across someone who you would describe as being outwardly aggressive. Yeah, yeah. I think I think you've also got that thing now where there's that many things, especially with social uh, media and stuff, where people don't want to be that guy. And people, no, people they don't want to be labelled as that guy. Well, that, I, was, I was listening to um, uh, another YouTube. Channel. I can't. I feel really glad that I can't remember who it is now. Um, he was talking about he went to the London GT um, yeah. and he came up against somebody who was just like constantly. He'd, he'd played him before. He'd, he'd, um, oh. The guy had cheated, right. and he's kind of like a, a, a renowned cheater. But the thing is, like the, the community kind of needs to call out people like that yeah, because yeah, yeah. He, well, he sh that guy, if he's cheating in every single game, especially if he's coming up against new people, um, you know, he shouldn't be allowed to win events and win tournaments and things, um, which I believe that guy has. But it's, I think it's down to to you as a player to, to call that out and to yeah, you need to report it. Yeah, and, yeah and, yeah, like, yeah. I, I've seen that video. I'm also guilty of not remembering the channel name. Um, shout out to that guy though. Like, I, I think yeah, I think yeah. I did absolutely the right thing. And you know, I think in this day and age of social media, it's very easy for somebody to put a post up but, uh, he, about he the negative play experience. He handled it incredibly well, especially on site. Um, from what I can remember, there was a TO present for yeah one of the uh, games, one of the games, and there was you know he he did he did take the game on and he he did rather well to face up against it. But again, it's one of those. Situations you're not going to come across in every event. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is there any chance you could just Google um, London GT? I want to. I just want to link the. the yeah. It was. It's an interesting um, kind of uh, read. London GT oh. cheater or something like that. I think it was called. Uh, I'm sure you'll be able to find it quite easily. Um, and I think you think you got to remember as well. It's not just in gaming. In life in general, yeah. in your work life, in your private life. You come across people that you're going to clash with, and not get absolutely. Uh, I think one one side of that story took it on really well, and the other one didn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's unfortunate. Yeah. Just, so be, yeah. just try and be the guy that takes positive from takes things. Takes positivity. Yeah. Um, right. Okay. So Stephen's in, as he said. So thanks for that question, Steve. Tom Glover. Uh, he's saying evening to everyone. Um, and yeah, he's just talking about uh, Gaz painting his uh, kill team. And Don't worry about it. Nick has linked rush bowlers. Channel, excuse me. Yeah, I had a Greg's festive bake before the stream, <laughs> and I, I can smell it. Yeah, <laughs> I should have eaten on with something rotten. Uh, ah, there's Sean. Hey, man. Hi, Sean. Oh, oh it's nice to have you in. I'm missing it. I know. Just a heavy bit, man. Yeah. Where are you in? Um, Gaz says, "Cheers, guys. Just painting the kill team start set. Got the terrain still to do." Uh, and Sean is saying his tank collection is so pristine that it's selling boxes. Oh, you need a, a bell. Shame, shame. For <laughs> <laughs> the, the next time we do this, Nick will do an animation. So when we do that, we'll be a bell and it will ring. It's got fairy eyes now. Um, I thought we're going to go Space Wolves and Raven Guard. Nice. I like the Koyichi. Gas is a lot of fear or not, though. Yeah, he is, yeah. 
because they do love the look of a tower. They do look cool. They just like, like I think you can dirty them up, but you can also make them look dead, dead clean as well. Yeah, yeah I think I think they should look clean. They're that kind of yeah, yeah, army, aren't they? Um, yeah, yeah, Tom was just talking to Garth about the colour. Retreat in, how you doing? Retreat, thanks yeah, for joining us, my friend. And, friend. and Mr. Dalbekin's in. How are you doing, Lee? How did, um, what was it, Rain of the Night? War Machine. War Machine, how did you yeah. get on the other night? Like, I, think, I think you referred to it as War Machine. War Machine, yeah. Rachel Haley, that's how you community. Sean says, Facebook group's having 40,000 people in them. Great, unintended job there. We, yeah. So we're about, man. Uh, do you want to take over there, Ben? Uh, yeah, uh, Ben seems to like that player. Absolutely. Well, that seems exactly what I'm like. Exactly what I'm like. You know me already. Fresh <laughs> baller. Uh, yeah, love the, uh, love the ochre, Tom. So glad you wanted the, uh, that paint scheme. Yeah. I'm quite liking the. Is it the viola set? So, like the greyish sort of colours. Mm, yes. Um, and then the, uh, the red and white ones. What are they called? I can't remember. But they look. Uh, they look wicked as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, Nick's going to be Googling now. And, uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's saying off. But, uh, yeah, there's some really cool bass teams that you can do it. Yeah. Uh, Skullmudge says, uh, Greg's festive bait is literally the best thing about Christmas. I think I need to get in on that. No, I've had two today. But, <laughs> 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 but do you know what it says? I, I, I didn't want to know that I've had my take. It's a little bit dirty tomorrow, so I've been going to get presents and balloons and all sorts. So I was in I was in Altrincham and it, it I, I kind of just like realised at the time it was like near lunchtime and I thought you know what I'm not even like make the kids lunch or anything when I get back so I think I thought I was going to dress so I've got a couple of uh, vegan sausage rolls for the girls Fantastic. a couple of fairy cakes so I've got myself and the wife a festive bake like you do yeah I'm a nice guy like that and um, when I got back they'd already had lunch yeah so you had to so you spare had a spare <laughs> festive bake so I brought it with me tonight and just had it before the dream. Just click that speaker sign. There we go. Yeah, that should, is that better? Hopefully that's sorted for you, Ruth. Thank you for letting us know. I can't believe no one let us know prior to that. Come on, guys. Get yeah. on the ball. Um, um, Stephen Devlin says, "What well, have a 40k cheetah court brings it up as first result. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, you can go and check out that video. Um, you know, I thought it was quite quite interesting. Yeah. Um, and then Lee says, it's got to beat every game, but I had fun. That is the main thing, Lee. That is the main thing. Yeah. But right. you've still got the week, first weekend of 40k championship kill team uh, kill team yeah, yeah, yeah. kill team to, to, to kind of uh, fall back on so yeah. you know that that's that's something at least isn't it yeah definitely um so shall we jump straight into our first loose yeah. topic remember guys we have got a couple of topics to go through tonight we're going to be looking at the new releases uh, that have been announced uh things that went on uh, pre-order this weekend and also we'll touch on our event which is coming at the end of the month which we are over the moon and very very excited about yeah well. very excited about um, but you know we don't have to stick to that if you've got any questions you know about anything to do with 40k or the channel or us personally or anything you want uh, pop it in the chat and, and we'll address it um, so yeah so the first thing to chat about um, is the sisters the sisters yeah I think a lot of people were excited about that uh, coming up um, so this sold out in like record time. Didn't Thirteen it? seconds. 30, yeah, I'd, I'd be ridiculous. interested to know if it did break any records. That, it should have done. Uh, it, you know, it was, well, it depends it, on who it, made. It's 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 almost like the the Middle Earth cards all yeah. over again, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I thought that was a really cool set, and judging sort of by the, the contents and everything, it was a really reasonable price. Well, it's one hundred and twenty five pounds from um, Games Workshop. I couldn't name it off the top of my head. I reckon it was something around one hundred twenty to one hundred twenty five pounds. Yeah. Something, yeah. Something so obviously, if you get uh, if you were using um, you know uh, a, a local independent gaming shop, friendly local gaming shop, 
No, not that way. Uh, you know, kind check of, the links uh, down there. Yeah, there is. There, yeah. there may be a, an affiliate code that you could use if you wanted to buy yeah. any stuff. I'm, to, I'm sure to it might. The channel. It might pop up in the chat that affiliate code at some point. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So if you could use that, that would be fantastic. Yeah. Um, but I thought it was a really, really cool kit. Um, I think um, you know, there's some. Uh, obviously, it's all brand new plastics as well, isn't it? There's nothing in there that has been seen before. The sisters have had a complete overhaul because I think the metals have been out since third edition? Uh, third edition sounds right to me, second or third edition. Um, I wasn't too much of a sisters player back in the day, um, but I do I do own a substantial amount of metal sisters and I can tell you they are dated. Yeah, they are um, very dated. Still, still quite beautiful, still quite, still quite charming in their own way, but very, very outdated. Yeah. So what do, what do you think of the content of the box? The content of the box for me, uh, because they're all new plastic sculpts, including a limited edition codex within, is fantastic at its price point. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit more expensive than what we're used to buying box sets from Games Workshop, but it's also something relatively new that we haven't seen too much before, which is an entire bundle, a decent price point, of all brand new plastic miniatures with a codex in a singular box. With everything you need. Everything you need to get started with it. Yeah. It's, it's probably not a full army, it's just a sample almost of yeah, everything yeah. you get. Has anyone put, worked out how many points that army does want to? We, we don't we know it's the codex. Know the codex. Ah. Yeah, yeah, it, hasn't, it hasn't been released. Uh, I want to Steve hazard a guess. <laughs> <laughs> with the current point system and metric that we're going down, I want to speculate that with the Penitent Engine, the Seraphim, the Squad, the Repentia, the Arcoflagellants, Arcoflagellants the Canon S, it's probably going to bring itself to somewhere around the 500? I'd probably say about six to 700, something right, like okay. that. So you can get um, going, I mean, as, as, as a fairly new player, myself and you, Ben, yeah. you'd probably agree with me that as a new player, you probably even a thousand points is tough. Yeah, yeah. Like, a to write the list, B to play, B try to pick up all the different sort of rules, rules and, 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 and remembering everything because obviously yeah. you're gonna have a few bits in there that have kind of aura buff sort of thing. Yeah. Um, so you know, and remembering kind of everything that everybody does is is tough. So yeah, yeah. five hundred points is five hundred points. Is, yeah, yeah, absolutely. To to get a few starter games in and things. So yeah. What what is interesting about the book, um, the book especially, is that obviously these are brand new rules to fit in addition. Uh, that is many many editions after Sisters first came out. Mm -hmm. um, so the rules reflected now are more. I find them more indicative of what the Sisters are actually about. Yeah. Um, the original rules didn't really emphasise the kind of the faith and the religious fervour of the faction. Whereas yeah. now I think they really do with the new. Um, I can't remember what they called them. There's lo they've got loads and loads they've of abilities which basically allow them to buff individual units to do individual right. things. Uh, is it um, mercy points? You can collect mercy points. And Miracle. Oh yeah, Miracle. that's it. Miracle. 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 Yeah, yeah. Miracles are interesting along with acts of faith. Yeah. Um, certain acts of faith allowing you to regenerate miracle points keeps you in the game for far longer. Yeah. In my opinion, it's kind of akin to a sister's only variant of command points. Yeah. yeah. So that's, that's quite cool. And it, it makes this army unique, uh, the, the, unique. No, no, nobody nobody else has got those sorts of rules and as far as we moment. know I mean they're not going to take them away sisters are still going to have the ability to spend command points as well they're going to have battalion detachments yeah um, so you know they've just got that additional way of spending resources to make themselves better on the battlefield which I think will make up for some of their more lacking features yeah, yeah. yeah. and the miniatures themselves when we're looking at them now we've got them on Gosh, screen absolutely beautiful. they are stunning, stunning. Yeah. Um, they're, they're not what I expected them no. to look like at all um, no. the imagery with all the different little, little things that they have um, I mean we'll get a picture up later on um, but there's the, that is it, which is the one that's in that weird chariot Marble thing. But that is a named character um, with a very difficult name that you will not remember, even if <laughs> yeah, you yeah. like. However, I can remember the miniature quite well, and it's beautiful. yeah, it's cool. It's, it's, been, it's, been, it's been compared to the space pope mobile. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it is yeah. gorgeous. All, yeah, all, yeah. all of them, like I say, they're on screen now. Um, I have no, no, not no interest, but I have no intention of collecting sisters no. or playing uh, as as the sisters. But I would really like to paint some of the that's, just the standard troop types. That, that's, really nice. that's exactly what I was going to say. Like, there's there's not a huge amount. Of, well, there is there is a huge amount of detail on them. Don't get me wrong. But actually, I think it's not a particularly difficult paint job. I think to get 
a good mm. result on them as well. And that's what I found about 40k miniatures compared to um, like Middle Earth miniatures. I think I said it in the last stream as well. Like when you you, I paint 40k miniatures very differently to how I paint Middle Earth yeah. miniatures. Yeah. Um, and I feel that um, uh, you know you can uh, you can get a much better result with with kind of easier um, techniques, I guess. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they look they look amazing. I'm I'm, I'm I would be tempted to pick up I think one of, of the features about the core squad that people have kind of overlooked is how much it calls back on the original design of the metal squad. Yes. Right. So yeah, yeah. Uh, the Sister Superior, for example, is in a very similar position to the yeah. very striking pose of the original. And the, oh, I want to call it a banner, but I know it's not a banner. Yeah. Um, the original one kind of had this very, very elongated kind of encased statue. Right. Um, with no real depth in it, it had like mm. a solid hard back, and it was it was okay, but it was very very top heavy, and it kind of looked like it would have toppled over immediately. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas I think the new one kind of has a more realistic approach to it. So even though it is slight, isn't it? It is. So even though it is more top heavy, it looks like the beams could be way lighter. Mm. But internalized, there is actually a box or a chest of sorts. Mm. We don't know what's in there. Um, some sort of relic. Some or sort something. of relic or mm. something like that. But I just think it's it's so much sleeker, it's so much more unique that it kind of emphasizes that the sisters are kind of like that more sleek, unique version of the Astartes that, you know, do fight on under religious fervor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they're absolutely fantastic. I like um, the fact that what they've done with the, I mean, it, the this shows what they can do with plastics now, is yeah. what I'm trying to say. So, yeah, so yeah. this must so, get, even people who are not interested in sisters, but are playing other factions that are quite dated, and need an upgrade. This must fill them with joy because when they get you excited. yeah, when Absolutely. they when they come round to renewing all the other sort of oldest lines, um, this you can expect something as something as it. something as gorgeous as this. Yeah, yeah. and it's still They're very really nice. simplistic. I really like the bald head. Yeah. So uh, again, like the, the old head. the old squad all had the uh, the, 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 the 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 very cut iconic like, bald yeah, cut yeah, thing. Yeah. Whereas I think this one, even though it would have been the bob. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. So I'm not a hairdresser or anything, it's just <laughs> yeah. not what it's called. Yeah, yeah. Even just, even yeah. though it would have been yeah. more of a callback to what they originally were, I do think that there's some valid point in having not the same haircut all the time. It makes them feel way more unique than they did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, you know, there's some in this kit as well that have got um, helmets as well. So actually, you, you've got that yeah. kind of variety, which is, which, in, is my, which is which is which is great. Which is yeah. my preferred way to equip yeah. them. Even though I do like uh, painting flash. Yeah. Helmets. The the helmets of sisters have always been fantastic. Just yeah, yeah. like the curvature going up towards the top. The the whole design of like the layered mask is fantastic. Yeah. So I think we're able to look at this fancy uh, Pope mobile now. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's called a Junitharutia. Junitharutia. So it's going to be a named character. Yeah. Um, the model. I'm not entirely sure what rank it'll hold because obviously we've got cool. Canon, we've got Canon S cool. and all those kind of like sister superiors and stuff. Um, it feels to me somewhat in the realms of maybe like a chapter master almost, like a chapter yeah, master yeah. equivalent. On the steps of the, of the of the actual leading up to the platform that you're yeah. standing on, there is the names of all of the founding sisters of the individual. Like orders. Mambo number five? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So you've got the. There's a lot of young people. No, I've got no idea. About that. Yeah, like, they're googling Mambo number five, forty yeah, k yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> jo Johnny's like laughing like, uh, "What's he on about?" Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm only seven. Um, so yeah, they've got the individual names of all of the sisters who founded the individual orders of the sisters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So which. It implies to me, maybe I've, maybe the information is out there and I've just not done my reading that someone's going to correct me. But I think they're she, very thorough, so I'm assuming it's not out there. I think you should, she should be some kind of sister superior of the order to me, especially with a vehicle like that. Yes, yeah, she's yeah. so on eight and rules wise, two heavy flamers on the bottom. If, yeah, they're, yeah. if they're following the, the path of the 12 inch flamer almost that most HQ seem to be getting now since the Salamander's release, yeah. mm -hmm. that thing could be absolutely nuts. Flamers are, are yeah. tasty. Yeah, flamers I mean, are very tasty. To look at it, it, it looks, dare I say it, it looks silly. But cool as hell yeah, at the same yeah. time. Yeah, it's well, all yeah, it's almost like Grimmauld Chariot. Yeah yeah yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. It looks cool. It's, it's, is that meant so, to be marble on the front? Do you think? I don't know, but if yeah. someone doesn't make that into a Christmas chariot at some point over this season, <laughs> I'll be upset. What, sticks and reindeer coming out the front of it? <laughs> I'd be upset if that doesn't happen. So I, 
I just want to point out that in, in some of the images you're going to see, you're going to see this marble paint job that's been done. It's almost like cream ceramic marble. Yeah, that's been yeah. Done. Really well done to all of the painters at Games Workshop and the Citadel paint team that has, has, has done that because it's such a fantastic look for sisters. It puts their vehicles and especially the Imagifier, which I am so hyped for. It, it puts it, them into it, perspective. It contrasts the against all the dark colours very yeah, well. Yeah, it's yeah. absolutely fantastic. Like, so the, there cool. is nothing I can say that is wrong with any of the paint jobs on these miniatures. No. They are fantastic. And if Tommy was here, he'd say the same thing, I think. Mm -hmm. Your eyes drawn to just that. a little bit. Yeah, it is. It that's yeah. exactly it. Your, your eyes, eyes are drawn. drawn. Yeah, <laughs> with a man accent. Yeah, <laughs> your eye is drawn to it. Um, yeah, so if we have a look now at the next image. This what is the Canon S. S. The Canon S. So the yeah. Canon S seems to have multiple different weapons options. The yeah. old Canon S's didn't. You used to be able to get multiples, but you would have had to buy a separate miniature right, okay. to get a different loadout. Uh, we also have current existing Canon S's like Canon S's like Canon S Viridian, who is based on the original John Blanche artwork. She came right. out as an individual mini. Mm -hmm. um, so she's got the wealth of knowledge. This guy, yeah, I'm alright. Wealth of knowledge. Um, so you've got it. some Canon S's coming into the game anyway, but this one I believe is going to be a single kit. And it's going to give you so many options to build your own Canon S. Yeah. Um, so you've got some kind of like regal baton looking type weapon there. Mm. Yeah. Maybe it's got the same function as a Crozius. Um, I was going to say what has. what. what which so is the most underrated weapon in all of 40k, I'll have you mind. Right. Plus two to the strength, AP minus two, one damage flat is not bad at all. Uh, <laughs> there we go, I'll, I'll, I'll take your word on that. If that's, right. if that's wrong, shout at me, but I love that Let weapon. Let us know in the chat. Um, the, next Johnny one, wrong? the next one has a, well, it's, it's a sconce, isn't it? It's a big flame stick. Yeah. Uh, whether that will have any kind of military value to it, I don't know. And that's what makes me think that those two loadouts aren't going to be offensive loadouts. So you've got the crossbow on the miniature that has like the baton. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that is seems to be the same crossbow that um uh, cool. Grey Fax has. It's very cool. It's very cool. Is it so is it a bolter but it's got a it's crossbow. a bolter with a crossbow round. Um, as you do. Yeah. As you do. It, it's so grim dark 40k it's nuts. It's mm. it's a bit steampunk, isn't it's it? It's very steampunk, and I love it. So what's what it says to me is that that crossbow is going to be a ranged variant that keeps your model out of range of combat. Yeah. And she's going to be able to give loads of buffs to your infantry because she's kind of waving that thing around, like giving them morale bonuses or yeah. something. Yeah. Same so, with the flame sconce. Maybe that gives you some like um, I couldn't even speculate. But the next one is the chainsaw, the yeah. absolute classic. Yeah. That's what I'll be rocking mine with if I ever do it. Is a bolt pistol and a chainsaw. <laughs> It's so sisters, it's unreal. So are these the equivalent to what a chaplain would be? Um, yes and no. So it's more like a captain, but right. they have more of an effect on the morale and right. the kind of stance okay. of things because they're more like religious leaders as opposed to battle leaders. Yeah. Um, and the one on the bottom has a power sword. Um, and I think they have iron halos. Yeah, yeah it looks like it. Yeah. Four pin runs on cannon S's. Yes, please. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Next up, should we have a look at the... Is uh, oh, the one with that little tiny gun? Yeah, yeah, it's the one with the little tiny gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fantastic. So that that's a heavy flamer. Now I've got I'm in two minds about this. I really like the pose of the the sister. I really like the face piece. Mm -hmm. uh, the breathing mask is absolutely fantastic. It gives that leer. I like the choppy fringe. Yeah, yeah, choppy fringe is always good. <laughs> I like the. Um, okay, so I like the flamer. Yeah, I really like the head of the flamer as well. Um, the old ones used to be quite blocky, rectangular mm -hmm. facing. I, I was I was a fan because I didn't have any other option. That's yeah. better to me. Yeah. What I don't like about the miniature is the connection between the Promethean tank and the flamer itself. It's what do you like about it? It's too. Steve's gonna laugh when I say this word. It's ribbed. <laughs> For her pleasure. It's, oh, I had, to, to, I had to stop myself. <laughs> I thought I'd get in there before you did. You're <laughs> did you get the mature? If anyone watches that, you'll see two veins on the side and they go, don't, don't say it, don't, don't say it. I just, I just don't like it. I've seen previous miniatures, I couldn't name them, but I've seen previous miniatures with that. And what I find is when I'm using my painting techniques of silver, wash, dry mm. brush, and edge highlight, it doesn't respond well to it. So right. maybe it's a personal bias, but I'm, I just don't like that. I don't, I, I don't mind. I, I quite like. I I love the. I think it just looks the, probably... si the size of the gun. It just looks very industrial. Yeah. Well, I'm the forty k one here. You're wrong. I'm yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, the, yeah, I don't mind. The, uh, I've seen a bit of. Um, you know, you, you get people complaining about like the pose and things like that. How like she's holding the weapon? Like, oh, that wouldn't be the best way to hold that weapon. It's yeah. like. 
do you know what it's 40k like what what part of this is real do you yeah. know what I mean it's like um, and then people pointing out like plasma weapons and it's like well where, where would this part go in this plasma it's just like just enjoy it for what it is yeah like, you know it's, yeah. it looks cool I, I, I think it looks cool I like the mask yeah, yeah. Uh, I like, I like the, very nice. I, I like the I like the sculpt. Yeah, I would I would very much like to see the the back facing of that miniature to see if there is a Promethean tank on the back. Mm. It, it suggests to me that there is, yeah, but yeah. I can't really see it from that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no doubt, if we do get a chance to get our hands on these, we will pop images in the group. I'm sure someone in the group was one of the very very lucky ones who actually got to pre-order this because yeah. it did sell out almost instantly. Uh, the one thing that I will say is. Um, Fear not. I'm sure, seeing how popular it was, there will be more. Yeah. And also, on well, release day, a lot of the Games Workshop stores will get some stock. So if you're lucky enough to be queuing at the door when they open, I'm sure you'll get one. There um, will be stock available at third-party retailers as well. Woo! Excellent. So, yeah. No, I'm getting... It's in store. Oh, yeah. So you'd have to pump to stop stock Yeah. So, so it just so... Um, I've been told that Element have put a one copy per person, as which the is on. Yes. absolutely. And people have ignored it, and they're going to refund the difference. So if you keep your eye on the Element site, yeah. you may see some pop back into stock. Right. Um, Element will be doing everything we can to make sure everybody is kept happy in this situation. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's it's going to be tough. Like you know, re re within reason. It's, yeah. It's, yeah. Like you know, re retailers, uh, I, I guess, finding it. Not not tough, but obviously there's you know there's only so much that you can do. But obviously you want to keep as many people happy as you can, and obviously mm -hmm. you know you don't want to be selling to scalpers that, that are then going to stick it on eBay at you know two hundred fifty, three hundred, three hundred fifty quid. It, do, it, do you know how to stop the scalpers? Stop, stop buying, buying it. off them. It, it's Let them sit there on the pile of five boxes of sisters with no money in the bank. Yeah, just yeah. let them. Don't it's, buy it. It's one of those things. Like I say, I I obviously have an obvious bias. Um, but yeah, we will be doing everything we can to make sure that everybody who wants to order sisters um, will will get some. Yeah. There's obviously limitations that we have to adhere to as well. Yeah. So keep your eye on the uh, Element Games uh, site, and if you check it out tonight by clicking the link, um, the cookies will tell Element that we sent you, and we'll get a big thumbs up and get a free brew. You get a free brew anyway. Yeah. We, we, we get the odd stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, cool. So, uh, what else? Should we, should we jump back into the chat? Because I think there's a, there's a bit yeah, of chat Yeah, because there on. is a chat about the sisters. So, yeah. we'll, we'll cover that and then we'll come back. So, uh, so I think we were up to... And Athol McNichol. Athol, so I guess you uh, you guys are in Kent. What makes you think that? Um, and by the echo, you're in a bar. <laughs> Hopefully the echo has been sorted now. Yep. Um, we are in Stockport in Manchester. Yeah. Um, I don't we're know in Ma Manchester. Some yeah. people might not know where Stockport is. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, so Manchester we're at. Yeah, Manchester. Um, but yeah, I don't know why we're in Kent. Is it is the, re it the real capital city of the country? Yeah, the, the true we Cap do, capital, we do, capital of the north. We do things differently here. <laughs> you do. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so uh, yeah, uh, everyone's saying better. It yeah. sounds like we sounds like we're an empty room. Yeah, we've got that sorted now. Um, Sean? Uh, yeah, Skull Munch. Uh, I would love to start a Sisters of Battle Army, but guessing that's a sore subject at the moment. Ha ha ha. I think we've, just, <laughs> we've covered that. So, uh, yeah. Stephen Devlin, that 40k cheating video is absolute cringe. Yeah, it, it really is. Um, it must be terrible. Like, the fact that you, you, you have to cheat anyway to get called out, and it must be like, you must just want the floor to open up and swallow you. Like, yeah. I, I called someone out at the first Toronto Schools I went to for uh, Hobbit as it was that incarnation was called um, yeah it's, this guy cheated everyone that he played um, yeah, yeah. everyone because the community is a nice community everyone was kind of just like well, just whispering I think I think that guy cheated I think he just cheated I think he was making rules up I was like whoa I'm going to admit whoa, it. we can't do that yeah <laughs> and everyone's going who's this like yeah, yeah. Like, who's this guy you know, like, I hope he don't last long <laughs> yeah <laughs> there he is now but he got he got I, I reported it to the TOs at Warhammer World and they deducted points mm. and he ended up in the leaderboard being but like dead last excellent so, so you know, he got his comeuppance wins. got his comeuppance I mean it's still he's still ruined not I won't say ruined but I still don't know where I would have got yeah had I played that game, and, 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 and there's nothing to say that I would have won that game. If no, 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 he no, might have won, but 
I'll never know where I could have gone. Because you could have won through the goals, is what you're trying to say. <laughs> no, yeah, <laughs> not a chance. But I wouldn't. I will never know where I could have got. But throwing, the way throwing the goals is run is um, you, you get a lot of stuff for being for, for your player vote. Yeah, yeah. For being like yeah, that's, that's favorite player. So obviously, a I lost because he hammered me because he cheated. <laughs> I lost a load of VPs for that, but then obviously he's not going to vote me as his favourite player because I'm the one that got him. Got I think it's yeah, so. Yeah. Who knows where I would have ended up is what I'm trying to very say. Very true, very but true. Anyway. Um, Scalpers uh, of battle. Scalpers of battle, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. It but won't last long. It, it won't. won't last long. David O, uh, loving the cool blend of game mechanics in the sisters book, and nothing overpowered but great combos and a very strong theme. Yeah, I think theme is is definitely one thing that has, has come out. You already mentioned it that they've got special yeah. rules that are uh, you know specific for them. That it's not something that you just see across uh, every army, and that's what's really good. That there isn't like just a carbon coffee, uh, carbon copy, carbon copy from each different codex. That everything does pretty much the same sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you, you are absolutely correct in there. Like, sisters do have this very, very independent feel to their army and their mechanics. Uh, they're not quite like anything else. Mm. Um, so it's very important that they get that. Do you think mechanic. they're going to be popular on the tournament scene? It's still to see. Um, we haven't read the book. Mm. We, we haven't read the book. We haven't had any access to it. Uh, we've only seen you know minor leaks of what they want us to see in generally. That doesn't tell us anything about how they're going to perform the tournament. Yeah. You, know, you are going to have to have some of the top tier tournament players sit down with the book once it's released yeah. uh, read through it and um, try and devise what they can with it cool would you let us know in the chat if you'd be interested in seeing a uh, sisters book review I'd, I'd definitely I'd cool. definitely like yeah. to see sisters at tournament yeah. 100% like you'd be up for doing a sisters book review uh, very much so yeah, yeah I mean, we, on video once, yeah once I had access to it definitely yeah. let us know if you'd like to see that and we'll make it happen who doesn't want to see more Johnny yeah. I'm coming to see you Johnny that's the reason we're sometimes here sometimes I come to Element Games I pretend I'm coming in to do something in the studio it's just because Johnny Bryant's my day. Yeah, I can't, well, I can't lie to you. And like, you, you never leave either, do you? So, <laughs> no, so yeah. Yeah. You've been, I, you, I've come in on your days off and you're here. Many, uh, many, many people have commented that I do seem to be here seven days a week. Um, those people will be glad to know that I am taking a small holiday where I will only be spending six days a week. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look here now. So, uh, Zachary Evans. Hey guys, I have a question. Uh, I've got a load of different Chaos models I want to use for 40k Plague Bearers, uh, CSM and Chaos Knight. Do I need Chaos to, Space Marines. Chaos Space Marines. Do I need to buy all three Codex to get all the rules? So, unfortunately, yes. Um, if you're talking about Chaos Space Marines in terms of the pure Chaos Space Marines that you get in, say, the Battalion Kit for Apocalypse, or if you're just getting a box of, yes, you will need the Chaos Space Marines book. Um, to play Plague Bearers, they're not included in any other books other than Chaos Demons. So you will need to get one forty thousand chaos demons, and they're the same again for one hundred forty thousand chaos knights. Uh, you can run them in a chaos battle forged army, I believe, as um, and that is a super heavy. It goes into the super heavy detachment slot, uh, so you won't have to worry about being battle forged. But you will need all three books. Cool. Um, I hope that answers your question. Yeah. So that, I think Zachary posted it up in the uh, in the group. Um, was it either yesterday? I think it was. Yeah. So thanks for your question. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to answer it for you there. Yeah. Uh, David O says it's miracle, miracle dice. Miracle yeah, we've dice. covered that one. <laughs> um, uh, Pete uh, says, isn't she the head of the martyred ladies or something? So is that the yeah the canoness? Yeah. Yeah, potentially the uh, the order of the martyred lady is one of the orders. Um, yeah, potentially. Yeah. I, it might just have slipped past me. I don't. I spend a lot of my time reading rules and reading about events and stuff. And you know, I catch up in the law as I buy books. <laughs> so most of the law that I get exposed to is by buying books that I get for events. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then reading through. Cool. Uh, Glyn's come back. I didn't know you'd left, Glyn. Uh, yeah. but welcome back. We, we, we did miss you. Yeah, we did miss you. Uh, Ruth's welcoming me back to say hello to each other. And Ruth says thumbs up for a book review. Absolutely. I'd, I'd be up for it. If Ruth wants it, Ruth gets it. Okay, so let's get on to That's the fine. next uh, release, which we're going to cover, which uh, is the Faith, Faith and Fury. Fury. Faith and Fury. Yeah. So what do we know about Faith and Fury, Johnny? Faith and Fury is the next book along in the Psychic Awakening arc for 40k. Yeah. Uh, so what was, the, the, what was the first? The first one was Blood of the Phoenix. Yeah. Um, all these names like uh, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm just testing I need you to, I need like, to know this stuff as well. I'm glad so you So it's the me. second entry in the Psychic Awakening story. 
Yeah. Um, this one is focusing less on the Eldari and the Drakari and the Inari and Harlequins as the last one did, <laughs> and more on the conflict between Space Marines and Chaos Space Marines from what mm-hmm. it seems. Uh, it's all one overarching story, but this is taking part in another area. Yeah. So, from what we've seen from the teaser trailers, we had Battle Sisters talking to um, Inquisitors, it was an Ordo Xenos Inquisitor, and uh, Black Templars. Now, right. that's very exciting because Black Templars are also one of those chapters that had very little love for Black Templars. Black Templars are yeah, yeah. that's caught my eye, you know. Yeah, they look, they do look quite cool. They've got some interesting they've got some interesting stuff coming their way. Mm. Um, I've not read anything relating to the Black Templars so. Right. Uh, but I know that they're in the book. I know they play a massive role because they have a very special relationship with the sisters. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and we've seen a lot of rules stuff uh, regarding the sisters coming through. Um, again, we do know. I was at um, Blood and Glory. The, mm-hmm. the tournament event that occurred and we were in the seminar where yeah. we saw the you know the, the reveal for Faith and Fury yeah. um, and there was a small video I think it's available to everyone there's a small video which basically shows the different icons flittering about for the different chaos factions and yeah. uh, switching factions uh, so we know that we're going to get rules updates um, and I think they're already out for the Alpha Legion uh, yeah. the Alpha Legion one I know uh, they have an ability where if you destroy an opponent's vehicle you can add three to the roll to see if it explodes, so it acts as though it's been rigged with explosives. Ah, it's ah, pretty interesting. That's cool, so, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, you, maybe you don't want to be running vehicles against Alpha Legion now, because you will almost you know, have a 50-50 chance of exploding. Yeah, yeah. yeah. fantastic. Because at the moment it's all on a six. On a six, yes, but this will mean that it they're all back on a to three. a three. Yeah, yeah, on yeah. a three up, your vehicle exploding. If you're looking at something like a ninth, that is devastating. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. If it's near anything else. Uh, potentially it may not work in your favour because it explodes yeah. and it damages some of Every, your stuff everything yeah yeah but again it adds that flavour of you know you're not entirely sure what the alpha leader are up to yeah um, in the early game it's going to do your favour in the yeah. later game the emperor's children so are in there the um, alpha legion the emperor's children are in there the word bearers are in there world eaters are in there iron warriors um, are in there iron warriors are in there gun readers will have a community post yeah. Um, they will explain to you in full depth what they do again they're not out and printed in books so I'm not entirely there yet with what they do mm-hmm. um, I will be by the time that our event rolls around yes um, we'll come to that later it, it is on my list of stuff to kind of you know revise yeah, yeah. Um, good stuff and then there's also the canon of it like the story arc pro- you know progressing with Faith and Fury we don't know what's coming like, I have my own speculation of what I think lies at the end of it I think it'll be what it was at the end of um the, the three book run like the fall the fall of Cadia and uh, the return of the Prime Apples. what was that right. no idea it was at the, the wrong, end of 7th edition you are asking the wrong dude yeah, it, 40k it, law is it was at the end at the end of 7th edition noob. they had a three run book series and at the end of it Ruby Tickle and came back nice um, so I think it could potentially Gilliman came back in Dark Imperium didn't he no, no he's back before Dark Imperium 7th Se- Se- edition was Gilliman yeah he came yeah, back who, in the return of the Prime book who's that on the cover that's a chaos sorcerer. That is a chaos sorcerer. It's not a named. It's no. not a named character that we know of yet. Mm. So that model will be released. It's on pre-order right now. Is it? Yeah. yeah. It's a nice model. Yeah, it's cool. It is on pre-order right now, as is Faith and Fury. Nice. So you know, again, I recommend picking it up. Check the links below. <laughs> it's not sold out. So <laughs> still get so it. You can get. I'm, not, I'm not entirely sure if it has or hasn't sold out, but you can mm. go and check the website anyway. Cool. Um, yeah the book looks fantastic from what we know again it's been a little bit more elusive than mm. the other one was the other one was like very much you know like here's what's in the book yeah, this yeah. one's kind of like here's the rules that you're going to be getting for your specific factions we don't know anything about the story the actual story that's cool though right because yeah. it's a nice surprise when you get the book absolutely yeah. Yeah. it's definitely cool. going to be interesting so um, image wise Nick where are we up to? <laughs> <laughs> Nick's just updating his Facebook uh, yeah, so right, so this is this is my area. You, right? Yeah, you, this is the one you've been waiting for. <laughs> so, um, um, we're gonna. No, I'll kid him. We're gonna, <laughs> we're, we're gonna yeah. bring this image up now, um, and this is basically a teaser image. It is. Yes. And uh, who are we looking at? So like? I had a little moment uh, at, at Blood and Glory when this came up as a mm. teaser. Um, this it's is a bef- little. A little <laughs> it was. It was. It was a small internal yeah. breakdown. Yeah. I was. I yeah. was going mad. Mephiston. Yeah. Um, yes. I'm a Blood Angels chapter player. 
it's it's in my roots. It's, yeah, but it's who I am. Yeah. When, when you said that you you're working on uh, Blood Angels at the moment, I thought, has he seen this and he just wants to <laughs> wants to build an army? I think it is. I it think was it is, one yeah. of it was one of my first armies. It was a love of mine for a long time. It was the army that I played all the way through seventh edition, yeah. and then I came out of it in eighth edition to kind of experiment and going back. Blood uh, Angels, <laughs> they were kind of like the. The, the poster boys for a while as well. You just took the word, yeah. right? Uh, second, second edition, second edition, bo- second edition yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and they've kind of not not fallen out of favour, but they, they've not been prominent. The, at- the attention that we've been given in eighth edition so far has been lacking, but yeah. I think that this is indicative of something to come. Um, so it's Mephiston. Yeah, and yeah. he is the he's yeah. the Lord of Death. He's the chief librarian figurehead of the Blood Angels. And he's he's just somebody to be revered entirely. Yeah. So is he uh, kind of chapter master? No, 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 no. So Commander Dante is currently our chapter master. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mephiston is our chief librarian of sorts. He's our okay. Targaryen equivalent. Okay, yeah, he's yeah, yeah. more or less the lord, the, the lord of death. He's seen the Black Rage. He's been through the he's, he's been through the Black Rage. He's been through the Red Thirst, and he's come just, out the just inside. Give, for, for those people who don't know about the Black Rage and stuff like that, so to give us a uh, give us a. The cliff notes, so to speak. Okay, so the cliff notes essentially are that the Blood Angels suffer from visions of the death of their Primarchs and Uh It drives them into what is first called the Red Thirst, which is the lust for violence and the hunger for battle, and then they can slip into the Black Rage. And the Black Rage is when they lose all sense of control and they lose all sense of kind of what brings them as an Astartes, and they go into almost berserkers. So mm-hmm. they're as close as it gets to being a word bearer as it gets. Yeah. Um, without obviously succumbing to chaos um, that's as much as I've got to say in it realistically yeah, yeah. It's, mm. it's, it's an interesting it's an interesting thing that kind of th- makes you teeter on whether they're heretics or not um, and then they can be put into being the death company cool. um, so the death company are exclusive units of blood angels who have fallen to the black rage they've been in battle they've seen the dying throes of their primarch they've had those visions and they've completely lost their minds. They've, they've gone absolutely feral and all they want to do is, you know, kill. murder and rage murder. and kill and maim. Because yeah. they, they think they're fighting Horus Lupercal. They think they're fighting mm. the Warmaster himself in the 31st millennium. Right. Uh, so are they So are they kind of a close combat type of... The Death uh, Company very much are. The Death Company are very, very close combat orientated because, again, they, they completely break ranks. They, they lose line, they jump from the trenches, they come out of wherever they were hiding and they run straight at the enemy. Yeah. Right. Um, Again, it, it, it's the kind of fanatical fervor that any Astartes Marine would have when if they saw the War Master. Like, all fear goes out, all they sense just... of reckoning goes out. It's like, that's the enemy, let's get him. Cool. Um, so, alongside Mephisto, then, do you think we'll see a codex much like we've seen for Salamanders, uh, Iron Hands? It's, it's, something, it's something that we've yet to speculate on. I personally think this is going to be a phase. It, it, it's definitely going to be, or oh, what I want to be, a psychic awakening. I want to see the Blood Angels take a forefront post in the Psychic Awakening because again, Mephiston is the Lord of Death, the Chief Librarian. This is the Psychic Awakening. It makes perfect sense for him to be a footnote character in this story arc. Mm-hmm. Um, I would personally, I'd like to see a complete redo of the Codex, but I don't think that's likely. Okay. I'd like to see a supplement, uh, like like you say, like we got with uh, the Salamanders, Salamanders the Iron yeah, Lord. Yeah. Um, but faith, you know, a faith and fury esque psychic awakening book would perfectly do us fine. Cool. We need rules updates. Have we? Is is this the most? The image that we've got up now is this the most we've seen of this model? Uh, I think there's more. I, I think there's. Is he primar? Is he primaris? He will be primaris. Yeah, yeah of course he will. Okay. Of course he will. It look. It looks cool. It just looks cool. I, I, I've not seen more than that. I mean, I know what the old model looks like. I think, I think I've got the old model. The old model is where I've got it from. It, how old's the old model? Old. And it's because it's fine. Is it fine cast now, I believe? It's, it's currently in fine cast, yeah. Or resin. Um, I only have that old resin. Um, but <laughs> yeah, it, it's, 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 it doesn't. It's Compared to what we see now and things like, you, you almost think, why would I buy that old version compared to some of the other stuff that's come out? Like, you know, the, the Adrax model is is mm. absolutely stunning. Um, it, what's in the Iron Hands? What's his that's name? That's the Salamander. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. beautiful. Um, what's the Iron Hands dude called? Uh, Ferros. Ferros. So yeah, you know, th- those models are absolutely stunning. And if this is anything like those, it is going to be absolutely amazing. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's going it's to be absolutely cracking, I think. Um, one thing I will say, I'm like, I, you know, I don't like, I don't like to be a negative Nelly. Mm-hmm. Uh, you negative Nelly. 
I will probably. <laughs> t- <laughs> I will probably be taking that that vial of blood thing off. Really? Uh, yeah, I, I think like that. I think, I think it cool. draw. I think it draws away from the cape. Um, oh, the, the kind of the cowl. I, I I like to put a lot of work into my capes and cowls. I think having that over kind of takes it away from the the aesthetic. Um, Potentially, but I think it's you know that it's the what it's what kind of is going to separate or you know really kind of separate him and make him stand out from other similar sort of um, space marine sort of characters, isn't the it? The paint job. Well, yeah, <laughs> well, yeah, there, there, is, there is the paint job. Yeah, but I think you know having those like little extra details. So, what are those vials of blood meant to kind of represent? The vials of blood are meant to represent um, Mephisto constantly carrying around a fresh supply of blood mm-hmm. um, to quench his thirst. So, obviously, he's fallen to the red thirst and the black rage, and he's come back from death, and he does have this necessity to ingest blood. Right, um, so a bit va- to, vampiric then. Yeah, it, it's incredibly vampiric. It was, you know, it's kind of a joke among the 4K community of space vampires. He is definitely yeah. a space vampire. Mm. Um, a bit like Tower. Space Corbys. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. That, that thing. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, so, should you jump back in the chat? Let's jump back in the chat, uh, see where we're up to. Remember, guys, if there's any other questions that you want to ask or you want you, any other subjects that you want to just have a little chat about or know our opinions on, Pop it in the chat and we will have a chat about it. Um, d- 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 <laughs> Ruth says, see Sean, I get what I want. Well, Sorry, you know, sorry Sean. Sorry man. <laughs> sorry. Uh, Glyn says, the new special sister character in the pulpit, oh he's uh, saying is the head the mad lady. Yeah, yeah. Uh, ninth edition is probably in the wings. Uh, and Pete said, agreed, definitely within the next 18 months. Do you think, What's your thoughts on this? Because in my mind, it's almost like that it's going to be like an evolving edition rather you're not, than it, it's you're, you're straight not going up. To, you've got to stop looking at editions of 40k as individual games in of themselves. So yeah, we've gone through multiple editions of 40k, but remember all the way from third onwards, most of the codexes remain the same. So, you know, were you really looking at fourth or fifth? Were you looking at 3.5, 3.7? I personally think we were looking at 3, 4, and 5, etc. But I can definitely see 8 having an 8.5. I think Games mm. Workshop are very happy with the job they've done. I think they're very happy with the rules method that they've got. Yeah. Uh, they will not be changing too much. Um, as, 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 so, a, as a player who, um, I said it at the beginning of the stream, has always had sort of one eye on trying 40k. 8th edition was the only one where it seemed a lot more accessible for me as a player yeah. who knew nothing. Yeah, yeah. It's, it, it's definitely the addition for the players. Yeah. It's definitely the addition that they want to be keeping current. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. They've put a lot of work onto it and they're going to consistently put work into it. Faith and Fury, for example. New new rules coming out all the time. They found mm-hmm. a way to keep the edition evolving. Almost like a legacy card game. Yeah. Um, so how, how 8th edition in itself, how old is that now? Eight to two years. That's about two, two, and, two and a half, half years. years. Approaching three years, something like that. So it's still fairly fresh. Yeah. No. It's, uh, I, I, you know, it's, and I don't think there's anything particularly just from from you know my limited experience and um, kind of reading forums and groups and the like. There doesn't seem to be anything that is particularly broken in the edition. And obviously, Games Workshop are, are doing really well at the moment. So clearly, they're they're doing something right to encourage new players and. To, but I encourage existing players to, to part with their money and buy stuff. So clearly they're doing something right. Um, you know, I, as you say, I think I can potentially see rather than a brand new edition where they completely overhaul all the rules and everything, I think, you know, potentially there will be... That a, would seem quite drastic in it, the 12 months with the new codex. Yes, yeah, ex- exactly. So I think it will be like a, almost like an evolved edition. So maybe some slight tweaks, maybe, you know, with all like the chapter approved stuff, maybe would they like consolidate all that into one new rule book? I hope so. I hope that in, in lieu of a ninth edition, we get what is in essence an 8.5. Yeah. So you get a single rule book with all of the updated rules that are army wide and core rule set. Yep. Yeah. Um, and from there you would get, you know, a slew of new codexes or etc. Uh, I don't think the way that Games Workshop are handling 40k right now will change anytime soon. No. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. One um, thing I one thing I would like is rather than it being I take my entire turn and then you take your entire um, turn, I would like to see kind of alternating activations. Um, so that's similar to another game that I play, which is Bolt Action. It does offer a different level of tactical depth. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, y- yes, you can draw four of your dice in the first turns, 
uh, and have four turns in a row and decimate your enemy, but then you're going to have a very poor late turn. They're going to mm. have a lot of time to react to you, unless you're an incredible player who's good at stomping in the, in the first turn, which is hard to do in ball action. Um, it's the same with I, would, I, yeah, I personally wouldn't like to see that. I would like to see the first turn, you know, the first turn wipe almost. Yeah. Be be eradicated. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, it 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 was mentioned at Blood and Glory as well. Okay. That these things are going to be addressed. Okay. That because I think so. so it's, some not off, the, it's not off the table. I guess some of the thing that some of the criticisms I see of of Eighth Edition is actually if you. If you don't go first, and you know you can, mm. like you're saying, like you know you just get absolutely stomped in the first turn, and you know you have got less than to be able to retaliate with, and actually you know it almost comes down to that first dice roll as to you know whoever has initiative sort of thing. It's mm. that, that that that's my, the, the criticism I see, and obviously from from my limited experience yeah, of playing. I think well. we're, we're used to playing Middle Earth, where it's yeah. you know alternate. Um, right, apparently they have tried. Alternate activations that didn't so, work well. But, yeah, so you know. I, c I can definitely see that their test with alternate activations working very poorly because what you'd in essence get is if you get the first activation, then one model could do incredibly well. It also would mean that armies such as knights or custodies with very limited models would have very limited turns and you would essentially get, um, you know, you may not even get it. Mm. If you know, even if you were alternating activations, you just get an incredible last last turn for. No, I, I think you, I think it means not alternating activations. But so, it's like so, so you, you so like in the move phase, phase you move, then I move, and, and then, then shoot, then and then shoot I shoot. Phase, you shoot, then I shoot. Do you get what I mean? So, I think that, so you, I think that so has the potential to, to drag a game out to sore levels of time. Mm. I think that would take horrendously long. Um, would it not take the same amount of time? No, as, as you're still doing the same things, but you're just no. doing them in a different order. Um, if, if I was TOing an event where that was the case, I would find that every single game would last a minimum of four hours. Right. Uh, because movement phases, especially with people who intentionally or unintentionally slow play, mm -hmm. you would find that they're taking long for their movement phases and then their movement phase um, of their opponent, where you could have easily had the movement phase and the shooting phase for one player and maybe they wouldn't have an assault phase. Yeah. Uh, you would also definitely lose some synergy. Okay. Between models, it would it would become a very very uh, uh, yeah. I, I, you probably know better than I do, but I, yeah, I yeah. can only go off what I know uh, yeah. from, from playing other systems. Because we I have the same so. problems. What you're talking about, like losing your synergy. You only yeah. lose your synergies if you lose them key characters that give them synergies. Yeah. So what you would do, mm. as in other games, is your position becomes a lot more key. But like I say you know, you you yeah you guys are playing. There, it, there, are, there are quite a few ways to lose your synergies mm. in forty k. Um, d d d let's have a look. Where are we up to? Uh, Glenn saying he thinks it's close to twelve to fifteen months for the for the an update. Pete says I came back at eight. I think they've nailed the rules now. Simple that you can throw some dice, uh, but enough complexity to keep people interested. I can't I can't see where they go from here. Yeah, um, I, I think you know not not a concern, but I guess it's um, you almost kind of get this inflation and. You know, if they, if they keep adding things in, then at some point, then they are going to have to go like, well, well, actually, this game is too overinflated. There's too much kind of going on for it actually to to be a a quick game and b for people to about, manage to remember all the rules. So that actually, I guess it's at that point that they might look to completely revamp the edition. But actually, I, don't, I think we're a way off that yet. That was my thoughts on it. Anyway, we are a long way from a revamp of the edition. The current edition is working so well for players and Games Workshop and the rules writers and the model developers. It's working well for everybody, and even people with gripes have to concede some level of ground to the people who do like yeah. the edition. You, you, you're never gonna complete. Uh, you're never gonna you appease to everyone. everybody in one hit. Whatever you do with something, there's always going to be someone who doesn't like it, they like it yeah. the old way or they want something different. It doesn't this matter what you do. This is a model game. There is always yeah, going to be... Yeah, it doesn't matter what you do. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Paul says, he is just sticking a battle wagon and a pair of trucks together. Any tips on building an orc army? Ronnie's bullied me into trying out 40k. Ronnie couldn't bully anyone, Paul. You've just been waiting for someone to twist your arm. It, it, who's Ronnie? Do I know Ronnie? Yeah, Ronnie. Plays Middle Earth. Oh, Ronnie Dodd. Oh, Ronnie Dodd. Of yeah, course I know Ronnie. Ronnie Dodd. Yes. Um, so orc armies... What, what would you? What direction would you point someone in who's armies, starting Orc up? armies are very like one or two ways like right now. I've seen a lot of competitive orc armies at my events. Um, I've also seen a lot of non-competitive orc armies, and there's definitely a, there is no grey area between them. There's a definite line. Uh, so if you want to go down the competitive route, maybe look into shock attack guns, uh, battle tractors. 
um, large units of boys, you know, if you want, if, if the event that you're playing in, or if you're open player, or the event that you're, you're playing in allows you to use indexes, um, war boss on bike, uh, big necks, all that kind of stuff, they are your more competitive options. Uh, looters. They're cool, well. aren't they? Orcs? Yeah, they're absolutely fantastic. Yeah. If you want to go down the more casual route, look at everything. Um, look I like, did you see that model where the guy made, it was a, an ultramarine tank, so, and it was made of four orcs. No, 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 yeah, when not, you put them together, they, they made they it look like a rhino, didn't they? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It was awesome, that. Yeah, there's, there's some fantastic stuff you can do with orcs, especially if you want to go down the uh, the conversion route. Mm. The conversion route is absolutely fantastic. And orcs fantastic. just sort yeah. of lend themselves to they that. They lend anyway. themselves but, to it, yeah. You know, I was, again, you know, I've never, I've never played orcs, but um, somebody who's um, on a group was saying, oh, you know, orcs are, you know, it's all about getting, you know, into melee and stuff like that. And somebody just said, well, oh, actually, if you're just going into melee, you're playing orcs completely wrong. Because they've got <laughs> yeah. some really, you know, strong kind of ranged stuff as well, haven't they? So, yeah. Absolutely. Um, you know, I, I guess it's they are quite a diverse. Mm. Yeah, the the, loot, the looter bomb is one of the stronger ranged elements in the game right now. Uh, as is the shock attack gun. The shock attack gun is absolutely fantastic. Cool. Cool. Um, Ruth is saying, how how many gobbles in forty k? Is it just orcs? Uh, Paul saying none yet. Uh, and Glenn is saying, roll rolling so much dice in every facet of play to hit to wound saves damage value of weapon. Finally, wounds was the only thing. Only thing I feel slows the game down. So, I just want to. Kind I of think that's player familiarity with the rules. Yes, that. If, if you're more yeah, familiar with the rules and you you just know. The more familiar you are with the rules, the quicker you get naturally. You won't even notice. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. sometimes when I'm watching battle reports and they're just like there, and they, they, you know, they, there's oh, they just move through the dice and like the all those like dead dead quick and. When, when we started playing, it was like, right, well, how many, how many hit them? It's like, Ben, how many dice landed? And he's uh, like, many, I don't know. I don't know. know. I'll <laughs> tell you what, just roll it again, we'll see. <laughs> we'll work it out again. Um, so I think when you first start that, and I, I think that's where using smaller armies potentially initially does help a lot because you kind of get used to those mechanics, and then the bigger armies, then obviously you've got fewer dice and, yeah. and things. So it's, it's like any game, isn't it? You start, you start off small and get familiar with it, and yeah, you go from there, basically. But yeah, I think yeah. it's. Every game is not going to be for everyone. I am finding myself like surprisingly from like I didn't think I would, but I'm finding myself like really attracted to 40k. Like it's something that I think I'm going to enjoy. Oh yes, <laughs> now the sisters are out. Oh yeah. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> this face nuns keep away from them, Steve. <laughs> uh, but no, it's um, I, I for, from my limited experience, I've enjoyed it a lot, yeah. and I'm I'm keen to get cracking again. Very keen. Um, Ruth says that's funny I didn't see your comment before writing in that poll up the top Talk, yeah. uh, da, 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 it's da, a shame da. though I need something to do with all my fancy gobs I'm sure you'll have something to do with them very very soon mm -hmm. yeah so are we discussing this no, no, no should we save no. that for yeah, we'll save all the time. Like, this is 40k day, this we, and we don't mm. want to be here, like all evening chatting about that no I have some strong opinions. Uh, Tim's popped up. Hey, up lads, what did I miss? Uh, yet again. <laughs> Copy and paste in his comment. Again. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Not Glenn, much. Yeah. Not much is the answer. Glyn's just telling Ruth uh, AOS is where she gets them. So, we've got to the bottom of the chat. Um, I think we should have a little conversation about Ooh. our upcoming event. Yeah, let's do it. Which yep. is the end of the month. It's snuck up. It really has. It has uh, it's just up. under two weeks away now. Yep. It's on uh, the 30th of November. We're really close. Uh, we've got. A ve when I say very limited, I mean very, very limited number of tickets left for this event. Um, we're trying to keep it small because it's our first forty k event. Mm -hmm. Not Johnny's. He's, no, an old, he's, 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 he's an old hat at this. He's an old hat. Um, but we want we want to keep it a little bit personal. I want everyone who comes to our first event for us to for for, for us to be able to interact with them yeah. rather, rather than have a room full of people. Uh, and get to know them a little bit better and hopefully you know see them at more and more events yeah going forward but i'm really excited i'm think excited for this johnny's done a belting job on the rules pack thank you so yeah, thank you very I much appreciate that. um if we can get a link uh, do you know what i'm distracted because ruth's posted another message that's got retracted she's always doing that, every isn't she? time every time it must be the foul language uh, it must, it be, must yeah, be yeah it must be but you're going to see a, a link pop up to the uh, event page um for the assault element it's here yep. element games um 
Tickets are £18. Pounds. £18. Pounds. Um, one day event. One day event. So it's mm. it's nice and easy. What's great about this and what we've really tried to do is focus it for new players and make it an, as easy and accessible for new players yeah. as possible. Um, you know, we don't want it to be like a dead beard event. Like, you know, we've run Middle Earth events, well, you've run Middle Earth events, mm. and they are all about kind of fun and theme and fluff. And then we kind of want to do the same thing for 40k as well. Yeah, um, that's so not alienating season players by any stretch. Yeah, we, we want um, more than welcome along. With it's a very laid back event. An unoptimized army and just yeah. have a good time rolling some dice. Yeah. Um, so we're really looking forward to it. Yeah. Um, we've got some cool stuff planned. Yeah. Um, John, got, John, Johnny's itching, itching at the bit to get, get see if his rule pack is as fantastic as we all think it is. Yeah. So have you enjoyed writing the rules pack? I loved it. Have you enjoyed the run up to this? It's been fantastic. So the community has embraced this way more than I actually predicted. Mm-hmm. Um, coming into your community, which is primarily, you know, Middle Earth kind of mm-hmm. related, etc. And you've got, you know, you've got quite a lot of people following anyway. There's been a yeah. massive reaction to 40k, um, which, which has been nice. It's, it's not the only game I play, but it is one that I'm very passionate about. Um, and you know, to, to find a community that was waiting for somebody to come along and write mm-hmm. a rules pack and run an event like, would be great. Yeah. So I think I, th- I think what's nice to note about the rules pack is it was something more casual than what I'm used to writing. I'm used to writing something that is way more structured. Yeah. Um, for people to break basically. Um, every Thursday, you know, if I write a rules pack for an eight week event, which like which I currently have done and I'm running right now, uh, there are players that I play it to the absolute limit, and there are people that play it you know at the bottom level yeah um so i've had people break the rules pack before now and it's you know it's fantastic to see that kind of stuff because it's interesting to see how other people interpret your your rules and your writing um but this one has been super casual there is a lot in the rules pack about basic conduct um getting people used to coming to an event participating in said event and then going on and then finding your other events yeah hopefully mine um and then you know a, a, a non-intricate scoring system so it's been way more the event has been way more about bringing people into the fold and getting people used to the idea of the how the run-up works how the system works and you know how a to should communicate um i know i've been kind of spotty with communication over email and stuff like that um but just because obviously i've got so much going on it's tough um, with all been making it's, 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 i think you've done a good job i don't i don't think um, we've dropped more so some, some, of list been, some of the lists that have been coming through have been strangely good for mm. new stars um, I think that's kind of indicative of the way that there's no chunks games. in this group mate no chunks, yeah, no right. chunks in this group yeah, um, right. talk about well. talk about everything I know <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of the way that 40k is going it's making it easier for people to make a list that isn't garbage yeah, yeah. Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing them on the board I think they're yeah. going to be absolutely fantastic um, I'll be here um, it's my I have a week off in the entire run up so I'm going to be doing a lot more work coming through to that um, static stuff like board building and board design there's a lot that I do without declaring it um, so even though I post and I say you know like well here's this and thanks for sending me a list and stuff like that there is so much that I do even mm. that these guys were oblivious to um, just to make sure that this entire thing works there's, there's, a, there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes when you're running an event yeah. um, um, run- running the event is the least pressure yeah. of, of an event yeah. uh, yeah. The run yeah. the all the work is done prior to the day that you guys turn up yeah, yeah and that's like no lie like I, I at the minute I'm feeling a lot of weight on my shoulders like organising scouring which is a middle of event yeah um, it's just manic right now um, yeah. but I'm glad this event is only a couple of weeks away I'm really it's, excited it's fired really well yeah, 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 yeah. Um, well I think you know you, you mentioned that the, the way that the community has kind of received it Initially, we, you know, we, we had, if we can get 12 people to this event, it'd be amazing. Yeah. The, the, and then all the, of a sudden, the it's like, that we made initially was 16 people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, and we were like, if we can get to that, that'd be amazing. You know, for, you know, we, we're not, we're not known in 40k circles. This will be our first event. You know, Middle Earth, you're, you're kind of known and things. And, uh, whereas this, you know, we're, we're, we're kind of unknowns really. Um, yeah. So we, then we were like, so oh, if we get 16, that'd be amazing. Then it was like, oh, if we get to 20, that'd be amazing. And now we're kind of just beyond that um, mm. and we are having sock cap tickets so uh, if any of you guys are interested make sure that you are getting your tickets sooner rather than later we wouldn't yeah. want you to miss what it is out. the maximum cap we're going for 24 24 people 24 yeah. we don't want to go more than 24 24 is a nice number uh, it's we, we, we're gonna get a nice area of the hall um, it's just gonna be a, it's just gonna be a cool day I'm looking forward to it I mean I think we're probably all looking forward to it for different reasons I'm really looking forward to meeting this group of people because I've been chatting going backwards and forwards with a few of them yeah, yeah. some of them maybe in the chat um, in the group and getting to know them a little bit more you know just answering questions talking about their armies seeing what they're painting 
Um, I'm just, just looking forward to meeting them and yeah, yeah, hanging definitely. out and having a, having a bit of fun. Anyone who's been to one of my events before knows how laid back it is and it is just really relaxed and we're just gonna have a lot of fun we can have a few drinks you know grab some food um yeah it's just gonna be a lot of fun so yeah. um tomorrow is going to be the lock-in for everything to do with the event on my side so after tomorrow there'll be no alterations to the rules pack uh there's only been one thus far mm -hmm. there'll be no alterations to the rules pack uh, i'm also throwing around the idea of potentially changing the second mission uh so the second mission currently stands as the relic um, due to some feedback and some personal insight on it mm -hmm. it's a very easy mission for people to get into but it's very uninteractive right. um, so it's kind of the, 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 the ethos of the relic is you basically do whatever you want but whoever is holding the relic at the end of the game gets it Okay, mm. it's very fly heavy <laughs> mm. um, yeah I, I don't want to make the wing con that easy, especially for people's first event, so that somebody runs rings around them. Yeah. Um, that was probably an oversight on my half. It was like, oh, that's that's quite an easy mission. That's something that people will enjoy. The more I look at it now, the more I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, I potentially will be selecting a new mission tomorrow, putting it in the the rules pack and the mission pack, and then boom, that's yeah, it. Yeah, that, that's that's that's, that's the mission. So you you've seen you've seen the list thus far. Yeah. Um, All of them. Get, to give us a hint, are they infantry heavy? Is there a lot of uh, there, is, heavy there isn't or? there isn't a meta, um, no. which is crazy. Every event I've ever ran has had a meta. Um, everything from bolt action to forty k uh, has had a meta. Uh, this one doesn't. Th this one has no direct way of. It's quite random. It's incredibly random, and I have no idea who's going to take the top spot. <laughs> Wait, which is amazing. Do you know what? That's that's yeah. Yeah. sometimes you look at this and think, oh, that's a bit beardy. That's a yeah. bit cocky. And then like, oh, you go to an event and it's same army, same army, <coughs> well, same, I, army, I, same I have army. been to events and have run events where I've walked into the the venue and gone, right, he's won. Yeah, 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 he just has, and there's no way to get around that um, because you know you, you look at the player gap and you look at the the skill gap and you look at everything you know surrounding the event. Like that person doesn't play well under pressure, and that person does. They're matched mm. up together. You know, it, that's it. Yeah. Um, this one, I, I I couldn't tell you who will win this one, um, <clears throat> and that's not that's not an exaggeration. I know a lot of people would just say that. Yeah, it's not an exaggeration. It's I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna be interesting. Um, I have my favourites to win. Tess Yoxel. Really? You know, yep. Yeah, if you yeah. don't bring this one back, I'll be very <laughs> upset with you. I I I I'm, I'm just keen. I mean, we've got some nice ideas for. Um, the trophies yeah. and things we're already on that this week so we should have them ready the wooden spoon is on its way yeah um, yeah we're, we're going to crack on with, with the podium trophies this yeah. week um, yeah, yeah they'll all be done um, are we doing are we going to do a, we're, do, we're doing the best best army or best kind of theme but that's decided by you guys and us as TOs will have yeah. a say in that as well so if yeah. there's somebody that really kind of you know has gone the extra mile on their army or we've got something that's particularly themed around you know a certain battle or something like that then you know we'll be able to kind of have our have yeah. our say on that so that'll yeah. be that'll be uh, an interesting one and that's you know for me i'm more of a hobbyist than i am a, Same, a, a yeah. gamer that's what the thing that kind of really um you know i'm looking forward to seeing is like how people paint their armies how people base them you know what themes they come up with that is what i'm really really excited for as well yeah. so seeing 24 people's armies will be great yeah it's gonna be awesome it's going to be awesome. Uh, so that is our event, a solar element. If you are interested, even if, if you're a new, I mean, especially if you're a new player, yeah, um, you know, get over to the event page, have a look, and do jump in if you can. If you're a seasoned player for 40k, or you're a player who used to play 40k in previous editions and has kind of backed out a little bit, this would be the perfect yeah. kind of event yeah, for you yeah. to dip your toe into eighth edition, and it would be an absolute pleasure to have you uh, at the weekend. So yeah, uh, jump on it. It's going to be a fun day. It's one day, dead easy to commit yeah. to. Um, it's not breaking the bank, and that's that's what why we decided to go because initially we we tossed around the idea of doing a two day event, um, and then when we just looked at it, it was for new players especially two days. And I remember after my first time, it? it's really really intense. So mm -hmm. there's the intensity, the tiredness, and actually being able to commit to a full two days when you don't even know if you're going to be enjoying yeah, playing. Yeah. Um, you know, it's a big commitment. So actually having a one day event for um, for beginners and things. I think it's absolutely the, the, the kind of right way to, to go with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, definitely. It's, it's good for me as a TO as well because I get to reconnect with the uh, the ground level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's good. And I, I hope. I mean, we we've got players coming from well, all over, but we have got some some local players, which is yeah. good because obviously, if I'm going to start 
turning up on a on a Thursday, which is difficult for me at the moment. You need to, you, you need to learn you need to learn your audience. Yeah, absolutely. But um, it's going to be nice for me to, to meet them. Um, so we'll drop back into the chat and then we'll touch back on the event again in a second. Uh, where where are we up to? Uh, is it Pete? Uh, yeah. So Pete says uh, that's what I need to do. I only played a handful of games in the past, so need to get some smaller games under my belt and know the rules inside out. Why don't you come, come along? Come down, man. Come along to this come event. Come down. Because um, I think Pete is fairly local. You think he's Stockport? Um, he's Stockport. So, right? Yeah. Sure so why don't you come down and, uh, and have a, a gay uh, a gay a day of gaming yeah, with yeah. us um, and uh, yeah, kind of re reconnect with it. So it's fifteen hundred points. Yeah. Um, so it's not unachievable. It'd be probably be slightly bigger than the games that we were talking about earlier that Steve and I sort of play to, to mm. get ourselves familiar with the rules. But you know, they, there'll be plenty of support. You know, we'll be well. Yeah. John will be here to kind of uh, guide you through rules. <laughs> Hopefully, everybody will be kind of helpful and things. Yes. So if you're not sure about uh, about rules and things, then don't worry uh, about it. Don't don't, worry yeah, about don't worry about it. it. Just come along, have a good mm. time. It'd be uh, great to, it would be great to have you down. Yeah, it'd be good to meet, meet you, man. I know you've been really active in the community thus far. Yeah, yeah. I've been really um, sort of chuffed that you're part of the community now. What I'm really liking is the post that he puts up asking questions yeah. outside of Wargaming. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. cool, it's cool. I like what you're doing, Pete, keep it up. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, Glenn says, yeah, you're right, without this dis disgustingly resilient, sisters will be easier and faster to track. Uh, and Glenn said, I'm calling it now, Blood Angels versus Tyranids is up next for the Psychic Awakening. Um, I think that's incredibly likely. Um, Pete says, it's already been announced. Yeah. <laughs> we already know. Remote control there, uh, my friend. So probably in, lose them. Interestingly, is that is that an announcement for a conquest magazine, or is that an announcement for um, a Psychic Awakening book? I think it's Psychic Awakening. It's a novel, isn't it? It's a novel, yeah. It's, it's from the seventeenth of November. Mm -hmm. It's the, the, which is today. Yeah. Yeah. Blood Angels will be facing the Tyranids again soon. You can see what happened last time they fought on Bar. In the devastation of Bar novel. Yeah. Mm, mm. Interesting. Mm. Interesting. Uh, so is that is that a new book or is that? It is uh, the devastation of Bar is quite. Oh yeah, obviously that. Last, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But what about the? Is that in a new book or is that going to be? Is this new? new? Is this is this the new? Is it, is it, yeah. That's what we're asking. It looks like it is. Mm. Um, oh, so yeah, got it. <laughs> He's saying, yeah. uh, "Ha ha, Glenn." It's already been announced, and Glenn's saying, "Ah, oh, damn it." Uh, David, oh, I will be there. Just got Skitari backpacks to complete. Hashtag painting backpacks. David, did you paint uh, up the Robinson, Belisarius call? I think you yeah. did. That was that's cool. Like, yeah. I love that one. Was it a call or was it a tech priest on us? Oh, keep, it might be a tech priest actually. Keep getting completely. your keep your pictures going, man. Yeah, yeah. We enjoy seeing those. Um, seeing people painting for an event that that kind of we're hosting gives us a little bit of fire in our own belly to yeah. get our stuff done because it's yeah, nice yeah. to see that stuff we're doing is motivating people to get things painted. It's really cool. Um, Pete says I'm hoping you run it again next year unfortunately there's no chance this year that's a shame oh, that's a shame man. well do you know what Pete if you are even around for a couple of hours pop down and say hi yeah pop absolutely. down and say hi just come in and say hi and hang out have a little drink uh, that'd be nice yeah have uh, a brew yeah uh, <laughs> Glyn Seymour so just, just touching back on oh, that on. in terms of running it again next year it's not a definitely not a no We're, obviously we want to see how this one goes first make see how it's sure received that we, yeah see how it's received um I'd love to run another one again though. I think it's, you know, Johnny it, and I were having it, a chat about it earlier. Yes, it's, it's, it's something I want to do. I'm, so. more, I'm more than happy to throw my me and my, my services in. Throw a sock in. Throw a sock in. What, Johnny? Throw his, throw his keys in the bowl. Um, different kind of stream, that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Lights out. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, but yeah, uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully we'll have another one next year that you'll be able to yeah. come along to. Yeah. It, it, put it this way, it's more likely to happen than it is not to. Yeah. So yeah, uh, Glenn is saying shout out to TTGJ for being a top bloke. How much has he paid you? Yeah. How much has he paid yeah. you? That, he, that, has that, he just that, PM'd you? That, 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 that didn't come out. That didn't come out of nowhere. That did it. <laughs> Can we get a pay rise for John back in the chat? Hashtag pay rise for John. <laughs> <laughs> did it work last time? Um, or is it? Or, or, that, that, is. That, that's not something that I can decide. Uh, is, <laughs> it, sure. is it something that we just need to keep put piling the pressure on every? Yeah. Screen, if you just like, pile the pressure on, eventually yeah. it'll get better. Yeah. So <laughs> trending yeah. on trending on Twitter next week will be hashtag pay rise for John. Uh, and Glenn says again, sounds good, John. Hope it goes swimmingly. Fantastic, thank you. Glenn. It's going to be good. Well, do you know what? We've got to the end of the chat. 
Uh, we're at a nice an hour and a half. Yeah. Um, I've, I've enjoyed it tonight. Yeah, it's been yeah, nice. It's been nice. We've had a nice, cool. nice group of you guys. I wasn't sure who we were going to get. No. It's nice. Uh-huh. Thank but you. Guys. It's, it's great that we've got a few guys that are participating in the event yeah. uh, in the chat as well, which is fantastic. It's going to be awesome. I'm yeah. really looking forward to it. Um, I'm going to take this opportunity just to mention as well. If you are watching tonight, because I know we've got a few in, because I can see how many's in. Uh, and it's not the same amount as people who are commenting, so naughty you. Next next time, make sure you get involved in the chat. It'll be nice to chat to you. But also, um, if you're not a member of the Facebook group, make sure you join. We're closing on a thousand members in the Top Table Gaming Community group, um, which is amazing because, and, and, and I'll say this all the time, it's one of the best groups on Facebook, and as far as admin in that group, mm. nothing. We don't have to do anything. Nothing Because it all. is basically just a hub for super cool awesomeness um, yeah. everyone's really friendly helpful um, and it's just a really nice group so get on over there and join and you will not be disappointed also remember we have the affiliate link below and uh, oh I almost missed it talking about the community it's Warhammer Open Day on the 4th of January it is mm-hmm. yes um, if you join the Facebook group you will see a link for a uh, we're organising a top table gaming meet up at the Open Day at Warhammer World so it's, it's nothing official, nothing through us. We're basically going to the open day and we've sort of said, if anyone in the group fancies it and come in and meet us and we'll all get together and have a drink and have something to eat in Bogman's, maybe have a few games, just hang out, you're more than welcome. You buy your own ticket for the open day, which is £20. Um, but you can basically just come and we'll all just hang out. And it's nice for us because we'll get to chat to you face to face rather than you guys just watching us on the screen and listening to us waffle on about yeah, ourselves. Yeah. It'll We're be happy nice to hear you guys yeah, waffle it'd be, us. It'd be nice to have it the other way around. So um, do get involved in that because that's going to be awesome. Uh, what else have we got? We're on Twitter. So we're on Twitter. We're on Instagram. Yep. We're on all the all the social medias. Yep. We're on um, uh, Patreon as well. Yeah. Um, we'll I was going to mention Discord. Um, Discord. Yeah, yeah, Discord. So uh, uh, if you guys want to want to jump in the Discord. Yeah. Oh, uh, Nick's going to try and find the the link and he'll pop it in the chat. Um, but yeah, also we've got a Patreon um, which uh, helps basically pay for the studio that you see us in at the moment. Yeah. Um, you know, we've got some lovely patrons uh, already in the group. So we've got um, uh, they're the guys that keep this thing going. Yeah. So Without we patrons, we, we we couldn't afford it, to, yeah, to do it, what it, we. It wouldn't we have lasted. Did. So um, top table really owes it to you. Absolutely. So we've got a patron only Facebook chat group um, where there's all sorts of banter and stuff that goes on which is fantastic uh, there are some little rewards that we send out to our patrons so there's dice there's t-shirts depending on what level that you mm-hmm. pledge what have we given um, away in the past on the we so, give, so we give away weekly we get like uh, gift vouchers for element games like 10 pound gift, gift gift vouchers every now and again we do a big a big giveaway so the most recent one was the Pelennor Field starter set for middle yeah, earth SPG we gave away Blackstone, Shadow Spear Shadow Spear yeah. Blackstone Fortress, Fortress. we gave away a wet palette yeah. t-shirts See, loads of stuff all sorts of stuff yeah. um, there's people in the Patreon <laughs> who, who are actually up yeah they, they, <laughs> they, they've won some that it's a higher value than what they've uh, than they've uh, yeah. actually given and, us and they've, and they've been paying monthly for six months and they're still up yeah yeah <laughs> so you know there, there is and obviously because there's not that many of them at yep. the moment there is a good chance a of winning chance of winning stuff. so that's that's dead cool yeah that's good and it, but it, I, I love being able to give back to, to those guys the patrons are awesome not that you know, all, all you guys are awesome as, as, I, as I mentioned it, the, the Facebook community is, is amazing uh, but the patrons really are the, sort of the, the heart of, um, of, of what keeps this channel going so what's keep, what keeps the lights on yeah thank you very very much I'd like to also say uh, whilst Johnny's here Mm-hmm. He runs a lot of different events. I do. You're yeah. going to be running a lot of events going forward. Uh, yeah, it's it's only growing. It's, yeah. it's it's only getting more. Yeah. And your Facebook group is. Uh, so we have the Throwdown Gaming Community. Yeah. Um, so all the events I do are under the guise of Throwdown Gaming. Yeah. Uh, or Throwdown Events. It just helps me keep things in a kind of neat, compact thing. Um, I do try to keep my community going a little bit obviously you guys are very good at what you do with your community whereas mm-hmm. mine is more just so you can keep up to date with events um, so I run Thursday Night 40k every, every week um, you know sometimes we do internal events or the and that's here at Element Games that's isn't it? here at Element um, so that's every week sometimes we do internal events we also offer casual play etc you know it's just a good chance to get to know the community get some games in yeah. learn, learn some lists yeah. Um, throw down bot action is every month, so we play bot action monthly. It's a very acquired taste of a game, but you know it's one of those things where, you know, if you're really into it, then I do recommend going and checking me out. 
mm-hmm. uh, for that. Um, and I also post all the individual you know weekend events that I do there. So I'll be doing some work potentially for has been announced that's in it. Yeah, for Convergence UK next year, uh, and obviously assault elements on there as well. Yeah. Cool, awesome. So make sure you check out that um, because if you are local, which I think a lot of you are in the chat, it's very handy to know because Johnny is kind of uh, at the forefront of events and running stuff that's going on down at Element Games, which is an awesome venue also just to come and hang out and, and play games. I meet new people. If you want to nominate me for a Warhammer hero, please. <laughs> do it. I could die happy one of those. Do it. I don't think they do t-shirts <laughs> in extra, extra small though. That's the only yeah, problem. They don't do kids, so, kid sizes. Uh, about We've got some event questions in the chat. Oh yeah, yeah. So we'll get we'll get back to the chat in a sec. Yeah. Um, so we've covered Patreon our, our links, Patreon. Uh, we've big Johnny up. Uh, mm-hmm. We spoke about the event, um, the studio. Yeah. So Nick's reminding us about the studio. So where, where you see us sat now is the studio. The, we normally have a green screen behind us. We have this lovely black wall that uh, Nick and Jay have been painting over the last few days. Mo- mostly Nick. Nick's laughing when I mention Jay. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what that means, but uh, we, we were uh, here. Couldn't, couldn't possibly, couldn't possibly comment. I can see the bits that Jay Missed. painted, um. Um, <laughs> but no. In all seriousness, it looks great. They've done a good it job. Looks, when, when I walked in, it looks like a different studio. Yeah, yeah it's it looks fantastic. fantastic. We've got rid of all the clutter, um, which is what we wanted to do, and we, we've kind of the way we've set it up for tonight's stream. The reason we're not got the green screen and stuff up is because we just set up just to get this stream done. Um, but this week is when we're kind of bringing everything back in and setting all the cameras and lights up. As to where they're going to stay, and um, it's just it was mainly to get rid of all the junk that was in here. Yeah. So expect some more updates on the Facebook group this week, and also excitingly, battle reports will be back. Yeah. So we start filming I've battle reports again. Battle yeah. Reports. We start filming um, probably next weekend. Um, there'll be some filming of battle reports being done. I can't tell you much more than that. Um, as far as the forty um, k. Uh, conquest. What's it called? <laughs> the, the, the what? Our, our, our campaign. Oh, campaign. I yeah. forgot the word campaign. Yeah. But yeah, it's, I'm very tired. It's been a long yeah, day. Yeah. So our campaign will get finished. Um, mm-hmm. I'm going to put that at the forefront once we've got some of the scouring stuff done. Um, and then, excitingly, for more 40k fans. I want to get this guy on camera playing. Yeah, yeah. Um, You've already said that you want to get your Blood Angels. Yeah. Uh, once so they're painted, by, once they're done. By the end of December, my Blood Angels army will be done, so I will be ready to go into next year back rep. Cool. Nice. Back rep awesome. That that timing wise, that's perfect for us. So expect to see that very very soon. Right. Let's quickly jump back into um, a few comments that we've had. Uh, flying mammals. Uh, really looking forward to seeing everybody. I think that's at the um, at, the, meet, up, at the, the meetup. Yeah, yeah. it's going to be awesome. I can't wait for that. Yeah, uh, Jimmy Mac. Uh, glad I caught the stream. Big thumbs up. Just paint some Death Guard. Maybe get to the event. Come down, brother. Check out this guy's Death Guard painting guide. Yes. Yeah, I put that up a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it is very. It's, cool. it's, it's basic, but, but cool. it, it gets some gets them done. Um, I'm quite happy with it. Yeah, yeah. that's cool. That's how I've been painting all mine. Uh, so yeah, go well, check that out. Thanks for joining us, Jimmy. Um, yeah. And yeah, you say maybe get to the event. Try your hardest, man. It'd be brilliant to, to get some people down there who are active in the streams and in the Facebook group and things yeah, like yeah. that. It, it, it'd be great to put names to, or faces to, to yeah. names. Yeah, uh, that'd be awesome. Be, that'd be so really try cool. hardest. Let us know um, because we are sort of getting to that point. You know, let, let us know if you want us to earmark a ticket for you. Um, but yeah, it's well worth coming. And Gaz says it's not a bad community. Yorkshire bashing aside. Cheers, guys. Catch you soon. Thanks, guys. Thanks for joining us. See you guys. And I will see you very, very soon. Well, I'll see you. Are you coming? Oh, yeah. Are you coming to scouring, guys? If I don't see you at scouring, I'll see you at the Leodis thing. Yeah. Um, but if you're not coming to scouring, get to scouring. Yeah. Um, and then we've put the Discord link up. Uh, Tim says, uh, "I'm well up." That for the, that for the event. Happy for you. I think. <laughs> <laughs> a nice one. There's little blue pills working. Um, <laughs> Uh, and David, David Owen says what's the time of quiz uh, at the end of the event so pretty much we'll give you a bit of time to get a drink get some food in and then we'll run the quiz yeah. Yeah. hopefully there'll be a few people around um, that we can uh, yeah. get rounded up and uh, join in the quiz hopefully there'll be a few people that are playing that will hang around afterwards as well it's just another excuse for us to get to know each other yeah, have, have a bit of a giggle have a couple of beers yeah um, so yeah it'd be good yeah um, so that guy I think we'll call it I think we're going to call it there um, thank you very much everyone for joining us I can hear Nick scribbling away 
Uh, yeah, no, no iPads and the quiz. No um, iPads, iPhones, no Google for the quiz. Yeah, because we, we've had people before, haven't we, that, you know, they've, they've come to, to events. And not mentioning no names. No, Ruth, Ruth yeah, we yeah. haven't mentioned it's any not, names yeah, I mean, whatsoever. I would never, like, dob anyone in, Ruth, but, yeah. you know. Yeah. So. You've got to use the grey stuff. <laughs> use the grey stuff. And right. the iPad. I have been Top Table Steve. And I've been Top Table Ben. This has been Damn John. Uh, big, big thank you to Nick but yeah. we will sign out now and I will see you in the next stream uh, and I'll speak to you guys on the Facebook group keep on watching and thanks again guys see you later bye bye